Hey, what's up guys? So today I wanna to share with you something really special because I had a video go viral. That was this video, and that is the Now You See Me Too scene recreated in real life. Fun fact, I went to LA to get together with a few of my friends. It was a jam creative session, and right before I was about to leave to Vegas, I had like 10 minutes before we had to leave. I got a bunch of my friends together. My friend Angelo was like, what should we do? Let's 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 uh, shoot a Now You See Me Too scene for fun. I was like, all right, that sounds like a great idea. So I got all of my friends together, <laughs> like last minute. I was like, all right, wait, well, how does this video look? Okay, this movie scene, okay, got it. So stand right here, stand right here. All right, you do this, you do that. So I just played director really, really fast and put in literally probably like 10% of the effort that I put into my other videos, which is uh, kind of sad <laughs> for whatever reason. That was the video that exploded. Of course, from that, I made some money, which I'm gonna share with you in this video, and I learned a ton of things along the way, which I'm gonna share with you also in this video so that you can maybe, hopefully, recreate something like that for yourself. But at this moment, I should have something waiting for me in the mailbox, so let's go get it. I'm excited, yeah. So we're gonna open that in a hot second. But first, if you're brand new to my channel, welcome, welcome. My name is Andre Jick. I'm like Harry Potter if he did card tricks and worried about money. That, that's, that's my elevator pitch. Every Monday I do finance or money focused videos, usually about dividends and investing in yourself and of course investing in the stock market passively over the long term. This right here on the side is my portfolio. It's roughly valued about $180,000 and I use the Robinhood brokerage app. And of course, I have done that since I was probably, I don't know, 19, 20 is when I started. And yeah, started from the bottom and now, now, it's, now it's here. Started from $12 an hour, I just kind of saved in my 20s. And that's kind of the goal of every one of these Monday videos. But before we get into which stocks I'm going to buy this week, I wanna share with you guys real quick how much money I made on these YouTube videos. So last month was the first month that I had actually met the monetization requirements where I could actually monetize, which I think is 4,000 minutes watch time. So I, I met that last month and I saw my AdSense revenue kind of climbing super slowly. You know, I saw maybe a dollar or two at first and then $10 and then $100 and I was like, oh, that's super cool. That's when I went to LA and at that time, I think I had maybe a thousand subscribers uh, about a month ago and then I quickly rose to 10,000 and then 20,000 and then I made this video super randomly and for whatever reason it just blew up and of course viral videos like this that generate several million views they can get you anywhere from like 20 to 30 grand but the catch is is <laughs> that they actually have to be long so you can actually put ad breaks in them the video that i made is actually really short so i have an idea of how much this paycheck is worth but i actually don't know exactly how much it is so uh, let's open this bad boy up all righty remove side edges first okay i want to make sure that i'm doing this right otherwise youtube might remove my video man this is exciting i know it's not going to be a ton of money but it's something. One down. Is this considered the side? Oh, this feels like the bottom. All right, now the other side. Okay. Hmm. All right, it tells me, step one, go to Google AdSense. Step two, payments, and then enter my PIN. So I actually thought it was a check, but it's, it's not a check. Apparently I have to go online and then enter my PIN information and then get the information. So I guess we'll do that. We'll do that right now. All right, so. Let's follow these instructions. Google.com forward slash AdSense. Enter. Sign in. Click all time. What? $90? <laughs> like, wait, what? This has to be wrong. I don't know. Maybe, maybe YouTube's behind, but my uh, creator app is uh, showing significantly more, so I'm pretty bummed. Yeah. Oh, man. I think this video now belongs on the subreddit, watch people die inside. This would be great there. Either way, I wasn't expecting that video to go viral, but I do know that some of these videos can make up to like 30 grand. 
And again, that depends on just how long they are. And I would have loved to make it a lot longer if I had known it would have gone viral. Another thing I wish I had known and I wish I had done, which I did know at the time, is have a call to action. Guys, like when a video blows up like this has several million views, if I was like, hey guys, my name is Andre Jick. I do finance videos, I do car industry videos. My subscriber count would have probably been triple what it is right now. But since it's not really attached to my personality or to what I do, it's easy to just like share the video and then be like, ha, this is really funny and then nothing's at the end of it. So it's kind of lame in that sense, but it's also good because if you grow your channel via just virality, then your focus group, potentially, the, the people who subscribe to your channel may not be there for your core content, right? And my core content is kind of teaching you about investing in yourself. So, you know, a few months down the line, people could look at my videos and be like, Robin Hood investing, when did I subscribe to this dude, <laughs> you know? So, because that's not the video that blew up for me. But anyway, having said that, definitely do that. And if you can make your video a lot longer, cause yeah, you're gonna make a lot more money than 90 freaking dollars. <laughs> but again, maybe it's more, if I get paid more, you know, next month, I will definitely do an update and share with you guys how much I got paid for this video. I, I legit thought it was gonna be significantly more. Now I wanna talk about the finance stuff and uh, yeah, let's buy our dividend stock. But before I do, last week, I posted a video about how much I got paid in March with my portfolio, which was I think 780 something dollars. And I realized that the internet is full of multi-million dollar geniuses. <laughs> like I had so many people chime in and be like, Oh, you, you should, you're too diversified. You should buy ETFs and you should Vanguard the bit. <laughs> I guess money is a pretty controversial topic about what you should do with it. And everybody has an opinion. So thank you, internet. Thank you, strangers. I will definitely take your advice. Not. No, I, I won't, I won't. I'm still gonna continue doing what I'm doing. I advise everybody who gets started with investing to, of course, do index funds, probably through Vanguard and be diversified. Do the lazy man portfolio as it's called and just let it sit and just kind of forget about it. And every week, every month, just put it on auto pay and then forget about it. And you're probably gonna beat my results. But for me, I built essentially an index fund, so to speak, of my own stocks that mirrors the S&P 500, so to speak. So it kind of does the same thing. So I also had a lot of people be like, well, his, his portfolio is gonna mirror the S&P 500. So when the stock market collapses, he's gonna go down with it. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> so that's great and all, but I actually look forward to the collapse. And I know that this $180,000 figure that's right there isn't going to be $180,000, but that's not the goal, you see. The seeds that I'm planting today are gonna grow into fruits that I'm not going to enjoy until tomorrow, so to speak. And what's cool about that is when my portfolio in value drops, my monthly income is still going to be roughly the same, which is gonna average out to be about $550 a month, every single month. During a recession or when the market collapses, this firepower, this dividend monthly income that I reinvest back into the portfolio is just gonna have that much more purchasing power, which means that's really when I get to build the wealth and I, you know, I really get that snowball going because that's when you build wealth. And again, the last 10 years, we've been in a bull market. So it's easy for me to sit here and be like, well, look at me, I have a $180,000 portfolio, I'm so smart. I'm not that smart, there's a ton for me to learn. I'm making a video on how I pick my stocks and where I find them and what my analytics are. I didn't want to make that video, but I'm in the process of making it. It's a super long video, but it's very fun, very in depth, and I'm excited to share it with you. Anyway, having said that, let's get into it. Just this. Let's just go buy the stock right now. All right, okay, so I need a change of scenery because legit, that was kind of upsetting. I, when I opened that thing, I thought I was gonna see at least two grand. Not only was it not two grand, it wasn't even a grand. And not only was it a thousand dollars, it was less than a hundred dollars. <laughs> kind of not what I was expecting. So, uh, you know what, YouTube, I don't even need you though, because I have a portfolio of dividends that pays me every single month to exist. By the way, one of the things I really prioritize in my life is watching a person's like financial, or really any journey, like as it happens in real time. not when it happened 20 years ago about how like some dude built his real estate empire 20 years ago, like <laughs> that does not apply to me. Not only that, but like actually get to see what they do. So that's why I make these videos and that's why I'm excited. So let's do that right now. So I'm gonna open up the Robinhood app and we're gonna buy a stock, so. Hello darkness, my old friend. <laughs> this, okay. This, all right, this day could not get worse, so. 
Uh, we're upgrading our system. Some things may not work right now. We'll be done before markets open. Good job, Robin Hood. You lost me all of my money. Where did it go? <laughs> this is legit. Today could not get any worse. I don't know how much worse it can get. Like every expectation I had was just flipped on its head. But you know what? That's what makes for great content. And that's what I'm gonna keep telling myself to live through today. This is, this is why we do it. Because of the transparency. <laughs> it's just, uh, man. This is disappointing. This is depressing. All right, guys. Well, I guess I can't show you which stock to buy, but uh, you know, I could sh I could tell you what, what stock I was going to buy. And then, you know, if you're using a, a brokerage that actually works, not like Robinhood, which doesn't work. Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is so upsetting. So it is now 12.30 a.m. at night. I just got back from the gym an hour ago and uh, I needed to let off some steam. So, cause today was uh, not fun. And uh, I think Robinhood at this point, let me open it up, is actually working. So now I can actually show you guys. Yes, it, it is working. So now I can show you guys which stock I was gonna show you before. So for this week's stock, I'm going to look up something called LYB, which is Lionel Basel or Basel, I like saying Basel, makes me, makes me sound fancy. And it is a chemicals company. You can see the dividend yield is at 4.81%, which is way over the S&P 500, of course. And the PE ratio is like staggeringly low. And you wanna aim for something that's like 20 or below PE ratio, anything that's close to 30 is stay away from. So uh, that's one of the many metrics you wanna look at. But again, let's, uh, let's buy this stock. So I'm gonna buy two shares worth at order types. This time I'm gonna do a limit order because last week I got crucified for doing a market order. I know, usually I do limits. So I'm gonna set a 91.79, which is exactly the market price right now. And I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna set that as the limit order, continue. 1 p.m. tomorrow sounds good to me. We're gonna see what the price is gonna do, but that's gonna be my limit order. I'm gonna put in two shares equals $183. I have 305 to spend. I'm not gonna use all $305 because I like to make these videos every Monday, so I like to have some capital left over, but my dividend portfolio right there, the $180,000, that's it's paying me a roughly $550 a month. So for now, I'm just gonna buy two shares to initiate a position, swipe up to submit, and I'm good to go. So again, this company, Lionel Basel, is a, is a chemicals company, and they were actually supposed to increase their dividend uh, this first quarter, but they didn't because they had an acquisition and they announced a special $15 dividend that I missed, so I wasn't able to get to it. But besides that, uh, everything is on the up and up. I think they're doing roughly a like a 40% payout ratio based on the on the yield. 40% payout ratio is actually pretty low, reasonably low, and I think they're gonna continue increasing their dividends, but even if they didn't, the fact that their dividend right now is at you know 4.81% is still really, really good, but they are going to continue to increase it. But just for fun, I'm gonna show you guys how much this adds to my income, assuming that I'm gonna buy these two shares when the market opens at the price. So $91.79. So if I go here and type in $91.79, I'm going to multiply it by the dividend yield converted to a decimal. So let me look up lib again. What was the dividend yield again? It's 4.81%. So times 0 0.0481, that is 4.81% converted, equals $4.41 roughly is what it's gonna pay me annually. And then I multiply that by two because I bought two shares and uh, that purchase, which whatever it was, $193, adds a forward dividend annual income of $8.83 roughly. So that's the math behind how much I'm gonna get. And again, there's lots and lots of tools. <laughs> I remember my last video I made. He's got 90 stocks, what's he doing? There's no way he can keep up with it. Mm -hmm. Nah, nah, internet. So trust me, there's tools that I use that are automated that tell me the health of each dividend, you know, how safe they are and how in danger they are, which ones are gonna be cut, which dividends are gonna be announced. I get emails sent to me the moment that someone increases a dividend. So I'm very well aware I'm tracking them all on an automation system that I am going to include in a video where I explain to you guys how I do these stock picks. So the only news I have left 
which is I'm afraid of just jinxing it because I feel like if I say it out loud, it's not gonna happen. But I was actually invited to go to a big um, TV appearance in Moscow, and uh, I guess they want me to talk about the experience of consulting on the movie of Now You See Me, and I think they think I'm really important how wrong they are. <laughs> so uh, anyway, they offered to pay for all of my expenses to come out there and, you know, being the frugal dude that I am, I was like, yeah, sure, I'll do it. And then I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna pop into my grandparents. Uh, they live in Ostrakhan, which is a small city in Russia you guys have never heard of. And then after that, I'm gonna pop into Germany and see my friend Alexander Straub, who is a, who's a magician. He's also a hotshot YouTuber. And we have this bet, him and I, he's like, he's like my little brother, but we have a bet to uh, a race to a million dollars, who can get there faster. Now he does not invest financially, but you know, he's heavily invested in his own shows and he does like a touring show in Germany. So he's gonna make bank and he's really young. And we're gonna see who gets to the million dollar mark first. Based on this portfolio, this number that you guys see right here, $182,000, assuming that I'm not an idiot and I continue to reinvest my dividends uh, without uh, you know, increasing any other money, just reinvesting my dividends, then I would probably be almost guaranteed based on the numbers, a guaranteed millionaire in about 20 years time, assuming that the market does what it's supposed to do. But uh, again, just a reminder, I don't care about how high or low this number is. That's not the point. I'm not gonna sell the principle of this. I'm just going to use it. These are the seeds that I'm planting. And then later on, I'm gonna live off of the fruits, which are the monthly payments. That, that's the goal. So I don't really care if I get to a million or not. That's not the point, but it's just a fun bet. It's gonna be a separate video. But anyway, gonna go to Germany, make some dope content for you guys. And then, yeah, we're just gonna have some fun. So I'll keep you guys updated. And uh, <laughs> yeah, this, this day has been, this day has been terrible. I'm just gonna keep laughing through it because it's the only thing that makes sense right now. Thanks again. See you guys.